In the heart of Pisa, under the Tuscan sun of 1564, Galileo Galilei was born into a world where the heavens were thought to be perfect, unchanging, and divinely ordained. The son of a musician and scholar, Galileo grew up in a household that valued learning but was constrained by modest means. From an early age, he displayed a restless curiosity, a mind that questioned the world around him. Little did he know that this curiosity would lead him to challenge the most powerful institution of his time, the Catholic Church, and reshape humanity's understanding of the cosmos. Galileo's early education was steeped in the traditions of the Renaissance. At the University of Pisa, he studied medicine to fulfill his father's wishes but found himself drawn to mathematics and physics. His knack for experimentation became evident when, as legend has it, he observed the swinging of a chandelier in the Pisa Cathedral and timed its oscillations with his pulse, discovering the principle of the pendulum's isochronism. This blend of observation and measurement would define his career. By the late 16th century, the intellectual world was dominated by the teachings of Aristotle and Ptolemy, whose geocentric model placed Earth at the center of the universe, with the sun, planets, and stars revolving around it in perfect, crystalline spheres. This view, sanctified by the Church, was not merely scientific but theological. Earth's centrality reflected humanity's special place in God's creation. To question this was to question divine order. Galileo, however, was not one to accept dogma without scrutiny. In 1609, while a professor in Padua, he heard of a Dutch invention, a spyglass that magnified distant objects. With characteristic ingenuity, he built his own, improving its design until it could magnify objects up to 30 times. Turning his telescope to the heavens, Galileo saw sights that would change history, mountains and craters on the moon, proving it was not a perfect sphere, for moons orbiting Jupiter, suggesting that not everything revolved around Earth, and countless stars invisible to the naked eye, hinting at a universe far vaster than imagined. In 1610, Galileo published his findings in Sidereus Nuncius, the Starry Messenger, dedicating the work to Cosimo II de' Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, and naming Jupiter's moons the Medician stars in his honor. The book was a sensation, earning Galileo fame and a prestigious position as court mathematician in Florence. But it also sowed the seeds of conflict. His observations supported the heliocentric theory of Nicolaus Copernicus, who had proposed in 1543 that the Earth and planets revolved around the Sun. Copernicus's work, though revolutionary, had been cautiously tolerated by the Church, which saw it as a mathematical hypothesis rather than a claim about reality. Galileo, however, was bolder. His telescopic discoveries, combined with his sharp wit and flair for public debate, made him a vocal advocate for Helios.